Hi, I'm Dr. Milton Diamond from the University of Hawaii School of Medicine, and uh, I'm director of the Pacific Center for Sex and Society. Nature, when it makes its products, whichever they are, either human beings or animals or plants or whatever, makes them in many different forms. And in fact, we wouldn't have evolution if that didn't happen. So nature loves variety. The problem is uh, it's unfortunate that many societies don't like variety. They want everybody to be the same. They want everybody to think the same and have the same religion, have the same thoughts and same, well, I think that, w that's, that wouldn't be reality. I mean, it's reality for the society that they want things the same. It's not the same for nature. Nature wants variety, and that's the way it progresses. First, let me start off by telling you about some research we've done. We've done research on uh, individuals. Uh, early on, some years ago, I did, uh, with some colleagues, uh, did research on uh, homosexuals. And we asked uh, individuals that were homosexual, twins, these are twins, I should say, and uh, we asked um, them to tell us if they and their brother or sister were also homosexual or heterosexual. Well, it turned out if they were identical twins, in about in our study, uh, between 50 and 60 percent, I don't remember the exact numbers, turned out both of them were gay. Now, there's what they call a Kinsey scale, which basically rates individuals on a continuum. In other words, zeros on the scale are heterosexuals, complete heterosexuals. Six on the scale is completely homosexual. Three on the scale or anywhere between that would be individuals who have both homo uh, same sex and opposite sex partners occasionally. Well, what we found with our study was not only the twin um, within one number on that scale of their brother or sister, so in other words, one might have been a three in the middle, the other one was a four or, or a two or something like that, which shows the high genetics means that's the way they were born. Now we did a similar study with transsexuals. So we got, now our, the study contains over 100 sets of transsexual twins, both males and females. And in the cases, it's about 35, one-third of those that are identical twins, both of the males transition to live as females. With females, it doesn't happen as often. And if they're a, uh, fraternal twins, it, do, it happens almost never, <laughs> almost zero. Again, showing the high effect of the way they were born, the genetics that's involved. Now, we're doing a current study now with a colleague, Nancy Siegel. We're studying a set of twins where they were reared apart, and both of them transitioned again. Now, that's got to be genetics, <laughs> because no family raises their kid to transition. No family brings wants their daughter or son to switch over. But these individuals, following their own life biases, have changed, and they did this com independently of each other. In fact, living in different countries. Because Nobody wants to be known as having a disorder, so that sort of has an, a stigma with it. 
So the new term that term will be used is uh, gender identity dysphoria, which is supposed to mean that the individual is uncomfortable with their situation, and that that, uh, that discomfort leads to the dysphoria, or is manifest by the dysphoria. Uh, for many of the transsexuals, <laughs> they call it euphoria. They call it uh, the, a wonderful situation because they're either able to be manifest both male and fe what they consider male and female features, or uh, live the life they want to, and they're happy with it. Many people are aware that they uh, have features which society tells them <clears throat> are of their opposite gender. So somebody may be uh, so-called uh, rough and, and, and outdoorsy and love uh, very masculine things, but also love things like flowers or art, which is considered feminine in our, in, in our Western society. Or on the other hand, uh, somebody could be a woman who loves children and loves to take care of them, but also uh, wants to be a professional boxer. So that individuals can have many so-called male or female traits within their, their own uh, complexion, their own uh, life. So when an individual wants to make this such a, a, a dramatic change of saying, I would be happier living as a female if I were a male. Uh, if I want to live as a female, that would make me happier. I want the world to react to me as a female. Well, that's a transsexual. Well, vice versa. The female who says, I want to be a male. I, I, my feelings are more like males. I, I want, my interests are more like males. I think more like males. I would be more comfortable as a male. That's the transsexual. The number one thing to tell a parent who's concerned about <clears throat> whatever their child is doing is, I love you. That's the first thing. And whatever, and find out why the individual, or try to understand what the individual is doing. If the girl picks up the Tonka trunk, truck and prefers that to the Barbie doll, that means she's getting some pleasure out of that. And you as a parent ought to feel good that your daughter is getting some pleasure out of this. And the same thing with if the boy picks up the Barbie doll rather than the Tonka trunk and he's happy playing with the Barbie doll, be thankful, happy that that child is happy with doing what they're doing. But if you're a real parent and doing parenting, you're also, I know, concerned with how that child will be treated but with by society. Will that child be bullied because he or she is different? Will that child be able to get a job? Will that child be able to be accepted in the religion? Whatever it is. And those are the things the true parent, the real parent, should be worried about. How can they help that child get along in life? If you're the individual themselves and you're a teenager, uh, there's an expression that you hear among the gay groups, uh, things will be better. And they generally are getting better. More and more society is learning to be accepting of differences. And if you're proud of yourself, uh, be, be confident in yourself and do the best you can in whatever you decide to do in life. People will come to respect you for it and accept you for it and accept you for yourself. Nature loves variety. And being different is not something to be ashamed of. Uh, being different may be something to be proud of. And uh, even though society doesn't always agree to that, be confident in yourself and good luck.